Hey, hey everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add instances from CurseForge, mod packs from CurseForge, using the newest in development features in MultiMC. Okay, so some of these are in the development channel and aren't in the public release. All right, so uh, I'll update this video when it gets pulled over into the public release, but for now, uh, one of the best things for a power user to do in MultiMC is to switch to the development channel. So if you go and you hit the global settings button up in the toolbar, it, it'll open the settings window here and under the MultiMC tab, you'll see that there is a uh, entry called update channel. So you want to take and by default it's in stable, which is the public release channel. But then there is a development channel as well. So when you switch to that, uh, then you can choose close. Now, of course, you're going to want to have check for updates when MultiMC starts, either in stable or development. So you're always getting the newest features. Now, when we hit close, we can hit the update button and it will give us a change log of what's new in development. And when you hit update now, it will update MultiMC. So it close it quickly and open it back up. Uh, depending on the speed of your machine, how fast that will be. Um, and now we're in the development channel, okay? And you can see at the top 0.6.12 slash develop. So we know we're in the development channel for that. All right, so now to add a mod pack from CurseForge, there's some new features that are available in this channel. And there is a browser here called Twitch. All right, now Twitch has been taken over by uh, Overwolf, so that'll probably change. I don't know if it'd be Overwolf or CurseForge or whatever, but that'll probably change. So, to install a mod pack, select in the search field, and uh, we'll get like a Valhelsia. I think that's how you spell it. Yeah, Valhelsia. Okay, for 116.4. So be sure you spell it right. You can select, you know, whatever mod packs, like if you did something broad, like nature, you can very see various ones from like nature's beauty or whatever. But if you want a specific mod pack, like let's say sky factory, I mean, you get the point you can, you can install this way. So let's get, um, let's go ahead and get Valhelsia. That one's kind of hard to spell. So it's probably not the best example. Select it and hit. Okay. It'll pull it down and install it so it's going to resolve all the mods downloading the mods all that kind of stuff uh, and install the pack right to your disk making it super simple with an in brow in launcher browser and search uh, so you don't need to pull down the zip files or anything like that anymore of course you can if you want so there you go if you right click on it and you choose to edit instance in settings you'll be able to set the memory for it uh, the amount of memory if you need to choose a GIF, different Java you can do it there or you can see all the mods in the loader mods tab all right and you can also search for mods uh, you know Botania for instance will show you just those mods so you can search for that so there's your mod pack you hit launch uh, be sure you have sufficient memory and if you're playing a larger mod pack like this, that you have 64-bit Java. You got to have that, guys, or it won't run. Okay, so that's how you install mod packs from Overwolf, CurseForge, Twitch, whatever the heck it is these days, um, in MultiMC, in the development channel. Hope that's helpful to you. If so, please leave a like, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more MultiMC videos and tutorials. And thanks so much for watching, guys. I do so much appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.